This week, I get in trouble with the Azerbaijani camera police, have to make a hasty exit from a lounge, and fly on the world's most dated Boeing 787 as I take a flight back to Kazakhstan. Well, good morning from Istanbul. And today's airline that I'm flying with, it's an airline I've been booked to fly on several times before, but for whatever reason, it's just never ended up happening. But hopefully, fingers crossed, today might finally be the day that I get to fly on Azerbaijan Airlines. Now I'm really excited to fly on Azerbaijan because they have an absolutely incredible livery. It's one of my favorites. They used to fly an A340. Unfortunately, they haven't got that anymore, as far as I can work out at least, but they do still have Dreamliners painted in a beautiful blue livery. And that's what I'm excited for. I don't know what it's like on board. Hoping to find out today. Let's go and see if we can get checked in. Hi. Good morning, how are you? Checking in, please. Do you have a visa? I'm going to Kazakhstan. So, Kazakhstan. Yeah, yeah. Connecting. No, not really. Almaty. Almaty, yes. Perfect. And you can use the first like eagle first like dark blue uh, side. Add the sorry, say that again. Go straight to and yes. you <coughs> use the first track. Okay. IGA first track, dark blue side. Perfect. After the password control, you need to turn left to left side. And you will see there the IGA. IGA, okay, perfect. You know, I've been there before, I know where that is. Your boarding, sir. Wonderful, thank you very much. You're thank you, have a good day. Ah, there we go, nice and easy does it, all checked in. Let's head through to security and then to the lovely IGA lounge that seems to be my home when I'm in Istanbul at the moment. Well, that and the Yotel anyway. Every airline I fly from here seems to go from the IGA lounge, which is which is a nice lounge. So let's go and get through security and see what that's like today. Hi. Business? A business, yes. Thank you. All right. Thank you. Thank you. Security was easy enough through the fast track lane today and in no time at all I was heading through the airport heading for the IGA lounge. The IGA lounge is one of several at Istanbul but I do really like it and actually prefer it to the Turkish Airlines lounge which is usually rammed full with not many places to sit. You can get in here with Priority Pass 2 so you don't even need to be flying business class to get access if you have a Priority Pass membership. It's busy here in the IGA lounge today but um, even on a busy day I find that this lounge is much nicer than the Turkish Airlines one across the way. There's plenty more seating. I mean just look around me now. The lounge is pretty much packed and yet there's still loads of places to sit. And it's laid out quite nicely as well. It's quite spacious which the Turkish one isn't. So if you get the choice between the Turkish lounge and the IGA one here in Istanbul, I'll always go for the IGA. My little secret. Um, but it's um, where we have no choice today because this is the lounge that Azerbaijan Airlines use. So um, a couple of hours to wait for me flight. I am running on about three hours sleep today, maybe two, three hours sleep today. So quite how happy and jolly I will be by the end of this video I don't know because I don't get into Almaty in Kazakhstan until two o'clock in the morning and it's currently ten o'clock in the morning the day before so <laughs> it's gonna be a bloody long day flying on Azerbaijan um, I've been up this morning since about two o'clock and um, I couldn't sleep because of jet lag and all that so yeah I apologize if I get a little grumpy later it should make good entertainment anyway. All right, then it's go time. Let's go down to the gate and get on our way to Azerbaijan. Istanbul Airport's a huge airport to navigate and even the closest gates seem miles away. My flight today was going from a gate right at the bottom end of the pier, which was about a 15 minute walk from the lounge. All right, guys, well, there she is, the absolutely beautiful Azerbaijan Boeing 787 Dreamliner. This one was delivered in 2014, so it's nine years old at the time I'm getting to ride on her. And you, you cannot deny that is not an absolutely incredible livery. It's one of my favorite liveries. It looks slightly better, I think, on the A340, but the 787 still looks pretty flipping mint with that livery on it as well. We're going to go I'm going out on board the flight now. It's about a three hour ride, I think, over to Baku the capital city of Azerbaijan and then we're going to connect in Baku across to Almaty in Kazakhstan you know what's coming guys um, but we've got Azerbaijan first so let's um, go and get on board the plane and um, find out what it's like on board Hi. Hi, thank you Is 
Thank you. Thank you. And so it was time to get on board the Azerbaijan Airlines Boeing 787. On their flights to Turkey, it seems that business class is sold in this section of the plane, which is actually their long-haul premium economy, with the actual business class section being completely empty. This cabin's in a 232 config with these rather dated blue leather seats. All righty, 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 welcome on board the Azerbaijan Airlines Boeing 787 Dreamliner. This is, well, I, th I thought it was business class. I think there's a cabin at the front. I don't know if that's first class. And this is business class. I'm not entirely sure, but this is still very nice. We've got loads of legroom. Look at all this legroom we've got here. Oh, absolute ton of room. Nice view out over the engine. The window's a bit mucky, which is a bit of a shame. But hey, never mind. I'm planning to get a lot of rest on this flight because I've like had two hours sleep. So this might be one to rest on. It's only about a three hour run, I think, over to Azerbaijan. I've got some controls down here for presume all oh, the TVs at the armrest but look at this this is a bit retro look would you look at that that's very retro we'll go through the in-flight entertainment options a little bit later on but I'll wait before I get told off and um, what else have we got down here we've got some um, the seat recline He's on a little switchy thing here, and then we've got these very retro sort of switches. This is a 787, which are usually pretty modern and nice on board. These seats are like something like from a much older plane. It's weird. How many airlines still give out sweeties to suck on before you take off? That's a Baijan do. <laughs> uh, years ago, like pretty much every airline used to give out sweets. They used to come around handing out sweets before you took off to help your ears pop. I haven't seen it in many years, but... Um, They've just brought around sweeties. I like it, it's a nice touch. It wasn't long before we were pushing back from the gate to get on the way for a hop across to Azerbaijan. It was a quite a long taxi out to the runway today, but that gave me time to enjoy watching the planes coming and going on the way out to the runway. The highlight for me was this Mayat Mongolian Airlines brand new Boeing 787 which had only entered service the day before this flight. I'm really hoping to get back to Mongolia soon to try out their new plane, but check out my previous video on Mayat 767 if you've not seen it already. I also got to see the Iranian airline Mahan Air's Airbus A340 take off in front of us too, but that's another place I'd really love to visit, but sadly it's a country that's off limits to me now I live in the US. Our route today then took us out across Turkey and Georgia before descending down into Baku, Azerbaijan. Flight time today was 2 hours and 11 minutes, cruising at 37,000 feet. So I put my seat back up to take off. The seat reclines a very long way. <laughs> this is like not even half of what it does. It was almost into a flat bed almost. There's nobody behind me, so I don't feel bad for doing it. But this is really comfy. These seat controls here control the seat and the kind of footrest comes out down there, look. And you can extend it and retract it and stuff like that. It's quite nice, quite comfy, really. Alright, so we have got to look at this TV system, the in-flight entertainment, the retro in-flight entertainment on this Boeing 787. <laughs> I can't wait to see what it's all about. Alright, so there it is. In all its glory, Azerbaijan Airlines, we are created for you. Touch the screen to begin. It doesn't like me touching it. Let's try hitting that home button there. My power button works. No. 
<laughs> oh, there we go. Oh, I'm trying to touch the screen to begin, and it don't like it. Yeah, that ain't working, is it? <laughs> okay. Well, there, there we go. That's the in-flight entertainment system. Very brief review. That's the in-flight entertainment system on the Azerbaijan Airlines Boeing 787L. I'll pop that away, shall I? It's time for the Noel Phillips Blue Review. All right, the Azerbaijan 787 Lou review, and it's um, very nice, very spacious, quite a lot of room here. I just stand up straight, it is a wide-bodied airliner, so of course you've got these larger bathrooms, very, very nice indeed. We've got a baby changing mat there, we've got a footstool, I'm not entirely sure. There is a, obviously the toilet there, the sticky floor, and a swipey flush thing just there. I don't know what that's supposed to house. Oh, that's normally where your toiletries are, but there's no toiletries. We do, we do have some deluxe air uh, soap down here. And then we've got a... Um, one of them. And then a nice big mirror as well. Coat hooks, two coat hooks. So you can hang both of your coats up in here. And um, I'm not entirely sure what that is. I think that might be the ashtray. And, um, oh, hello. Look what I've found. It's a Japanese style loo. <laughs> oh, my word. Do Azerbaijanis have Japanese toilets? This might be a very nice trip to Azerbaijan if they do. The, the, their Dreamliner is definitely do. Look at that. You don't very often see this option fitted to a Dreamliner. Um, outside of Japan, anyway, I've seen it on the Japanese airlines, but not anywhere else, so interesting. You can um, fly on Azerbaijan 787 and get squirted up the bum. That was the Noel Phillips Blue Review. Alright, lunch has turned up and it's a veritable smorgasbord of food. Look at all this lot on here. Um, so I've gone for the chicken and rice. There was an also the option of having beef, but I normally like having the chicken. We've got. Um, Whatever these things are, like little sandwich things. Um, then we've got cheese, we've got fruit, we've got cake, we've got more cake, we've got salad. This is a feast. And some beautiful cutlery as well, look at these. Very swanky design, right, let's try the chicken first. It tastes slightly curried, it's very nice. You know what, that ain't bad. It's very nice indeed. Um, yeah, and top tip for next time as well. That is not a cake. That is butter. Do not pick it up and try to bite a chunk out of it because it's, it, it, it's butter. It is not cake. <laughs> so with a taste of butter in my mouth, I put my seat back and tried to rest. But at some point I must have fallen asleep because the next thing I remember was being woken up by the landing gear being extended as we started our final approach into Baku and I decided it might be time to put my seat up and prepare for landing. With a round of applause we'd arrived into Baku and we taxied in past the Azerbaijan Airlines A340 500s which sadly appeared to be in storage on the airport. That's a bit of a shame really because I was really hoping to fly on one someday. There were some really cool planes parked up here though including this IR Aero, Sukhoi Superjet and some other cool aircraft alongside it too. headed into the terminal which was actually quite nice and really modern. I followed the signs for the transit lane which took me to a transfer desk where my boarding pass was checked and I was sent through to security to get into the departure lounge. Thank you. How are you? I'm good thank you, how are you? Fine, thank you. Is that Almaty? 
You don't have any baggage? No baggage, no. Hands carry with you? Yeah. Okay. Thank you. 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 Transit security was really straightforward. They really didn't ask any questions or want to see anything out of my bag. And pretty soon I was heading through to the departure lounge. Right, welcome to Baku in Azerbaijan, country 102 for me. And yeah, I sort of fell asleep on that flight. I ended up getting woken up by his um, putting the landing gear down and final approach and everybody came and <laughs> asked me to do my seatbelt or anything and um, before I knew it we were landing so yeah that was a bit of a shock anyway we're here in Azerbaijan um, and that security check was a bit weird as well they sort of um, pulled us through for a security check they were taking everybody's water off them and stuff like that but then there's me with my big bottle of water in my bag and they just looked at it and went yeah it's fine maybe I don't know different sort of water or something I don't know anyway let's go and See if there's somewhere to rest for a little bit before we get the next flight. I headed upstairs to the Azerbaijan Airlines lounge. Hello. Hi. Hi. Thank you. 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 Thank the lounge here is pretty basic and there's not a lot of food to eat but it is quite comfortable and there's loads of places to go and sit and chill out for a little bit before my onward flight. Alright, I made it to the Azal, the business class lounge. Um, it's quite nice, it's got some of these sort of relaxy chair things and then they've got a view out over the action there. There is a beautiful Azerbaijan 767 down there. A340s that we saw on the way in there just over there. It's a shame they're all mothballed by the looks of it, they're all wrapped up in plastic and stuff. It doesn't look like they're going to be flying anywhere anytime soon, but um, hey, it's a bit of a shame because we were hoping to get on one of those at one point, but um, it's the last airline in the world that's still got the 340-500 and it looks like they're all kind of mothballed, which is a bit annoying, but hey, never mind. As the sun started to set, I figured it would be great to get a nice time lapse of the sun going down out of the window. But no sooner had I started recording than I was approached by the lovely Azerbaijani Olga, who had earlier been cleaning the toilets. She told me in no uncertain terms to stop recording and show her what was on my camera so she would make sure I deleted everything. Rather than lose everything I'd already recorded on this trip, I took this as my signal to leave the lounge and decided to wait it out downstairs at the gate and just hope that she didn't come waddling after me. Fortunately there wasn't too long to wait to get on the plane and pretty soon after I made sure I was one of the first on the plane, hopefully safe at last from the Azerbaijani undercover camera police. Thank you. I headed down the jet bridge onto the plane which it seemed tonight was an Airbus A319 to take me across to Almaty in Kazakhstan. Azerbaijan's A319 has a business class in this 2-2 config with these beautiful old recliner seats that are actually pretty comfy. Right then, leg two. Time to get out of Baku and head across to Almaty. We're on an Airbus A319 by the looks of it for this flight. Um, couldn't really see it from inside the terminal. I didn't know whether it was a 320 or a 319 or what it was, but it's a 319. Um, interestingly, this flight is shorter than the flight over from Istanbul. However, we get an amenity kit and a pair of slippers on this flight, as well as your blanket and pillows and everything else. So that's interesting. There was this more, more premium route potentially, but um, yeah, looking forward to getting some rest on this flight. I think we'll go through the amenity kit maybe in a little while, um, but it's time to get out of here and head to Almaty. So the 319 then, it's in this 2-2 um, configuration. It's quite comfortable. The seats are quite old, but they are quite comfy. There's some footrest there with like old carpet on them. That you can use um, the seat controls. Um, where's the seat controls? Oh, it's down here. We've got an ash. We've got an ashtray down here. Look, and the buttons push the seat back and everything. And then this is obviously for some sort of entertainment or something. Um, down here we've got a bottle of water in there and big seat back pocket in front. It's, it's, it's a bit old and dated, but it's quite a comfy seat. So um, yeah, hopefully be quite comfortable for this sort of three-hour run or so over to um, Kazakhstan. 
Before too long, everyone was on board and we pushed back from the gate and started our taxi out to the runway for our flight over to Almaty. Our flight to Almaty then took us east across the Caspian Sea, flying over Turkmenistan and Uzbekistan before starting our descent into Almaty, Kazakhstan. Flight time tonight was 2 hours and 49 minutes, cruising at 35,000 feet. The Azerbaijan A319 has a really basic in-flight entertainment system which basically has these overhead monitors with the flight map playing for the flight, which is good enough for me on a nighttime flight where I was really planning to just sleep. There was a meal service on this flight as well. I got a really nice starter with like a salad and cheese and things like that. And then the main course was a fish dish with pasta and some vegetables. All in all, it was pretty decent for a two and a half hour flight in the middle of the night. But really all I wanted to do on this flight was get a little more sleep. And that's something that was quite easy to do when you've only had two hours sleep the night before. All right then, top of descent down into Almaty. I've slept for half this flight. Still absolutely knackered. Uh, but hey, it's okay because we're nearly back in Kazakhstan. In about 20 minutes, I reckon, we'll be on the ground. Let's, um, let's get down there and let's get to bed. I was really excited to get back to Kazakhstan again. It really is one of my favourite places in the world to visit. There's always an adventure here and boy was I looking forward to some really cool adventures here in the time I got to spend on this trip. Make sure you subscribe so you don't miss them. We're going to have some great fun. First thing I thought was interesting though at Almaty Airport was as we pulled off the runway there was an aircraft already on the runway at the other end beginning its takeoff run. That's something that I've never really experienced before at a big airport like this. My ride to Kazakhstan tonight cost me $1156 or around about 933 British pounds working out to a cost per mile of 46 cents. Now that is on the pricey side considering SCAT or Aerostana would bring me here for about $600 but this was a major airline to check off for me in flying on Azerbaijan Airlines. Thanks very much, good evening, thank you. Passport control in Almaty is pretty straightforward these days. I headed straight to the passport booth, got my passport stamped, and pretty soon I was landside and inside Kazakhstan again. Not wanting the hassle of trying to get a Yandex at 2 o'clock in the morning, I decided to go for one of the official airport taxis instead to take me downtown. Uh, yes, show me a charge, please. It's a continental hotel. Okay, is the fixed price and the business 7,000, thank you, fixed price. That's fine, 7,000 is fine, yeah. Okay, follow me. Thank you, take card, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. In the car, yeah, okay, thank you. I never know which taxi to go for. We headed outside and some negotiations started taking place and pretty soon I was sent to the right taxi to take me downtown. Left the car, okay. the waiting is of 30 seconds. Okay. And the, the go is the... Uh, like this one here, yeah. yeah? Only cash. Only cash? Yeah. Okay. okay. Do they take US dollar or...? U yeah, US dollar. They take US dollar yeah. as well, okay. Yeah. Of course they take US dollars. Yeah, all right, thank you. Uh, welcome back to Kazakhstan. Um, I think I'm in the right car. The driver's just sort of walked off. He said he'll be back in a minute. Um, this is apparently an official taxi, but he's, he only takes cash, so we'll see. Thankfully, it was an official taxi, and pretty soon we were heading downtown to my hotel at the Intercontinental in downtown Almaty. Thank you very much. Just make sure I have everything. Yeah, yeah, sure. Uh, it would not be the first time that I've left something in the back of a taxi, and I'm sure it wouldn't be the last. Hello, good, good evening. I'd like to check in, please. You're welcome, sir. Thank you. How was your flight? Uh, long, but good. Oh, okay. <laughs> it's very tired, but ready for sleep for now. Welcome to Thank you. I'd like to say thank you to my amazing Patreons for their ongoing support. You can join them at the link on the screen now for access to my WhatsApp group, regular Zoom calls with me, and much more. All right then, welcome to Almaty. 
oh, in Kazakhstan. I am so unbelievably tired. It is now, if I get my watch to activate, it's now 2.29 in the morning. Um, and I left Tirana this morning at, well, I, I was awake at two o'clock this morning, Albania time, and it's now two o'clock in the morning the following day. <laughs> so I'm a, a few hours ahead, but yeah, I've been up for like 20 hours after like two hours sleep. I'm absolutely exhausted. So this thing is, is very welcome. Although tomorrow I've got another flight somewhere else cool in Kazakhstan. So that's, that's my next video, which you'll be able to see next week. So make sure you hit subscribe so you don't miss it. But let me know down in the comments, of course, what you thought to Azerbaijan Airlines and their Dreamliner and their A319 and their service and the trouble I had at the lounge and all that sort of stuff. Um, but um, let me know about all, about all of that down in the, in the comments. And um, in the meantime, well, thank you so much for watching. Take care. I'll see you on the next one. Bye for now.